Okay, I've done videos on all the different colors of Dobermans on my channel. Uh, I've done videos on the red Dobermans. The blue Dobermans. The fawn Dobermans. The white Doberman. And even the all black Doberman. So now it's finally time to do a video dedicated to my all-time favorite Doberman, the classic black and rust colored dog, and what makes them, at least in my mind anyway, the best Doberman out there. So why do I think these are the best color of Doberman out there? Well, personal preference mostly, but you know, of course I'm in love with all the different colors of Doberman, but you know, there are definitely some real benefits to owning the traditional black and rust colored Doberman, and that's what this video is gonna be all about. A recent online poll of Doberman owners showed that 58% of Doberman owners prefer the classic black and rust colored dogs. But why do they prefer it? Is it just for looks alone? Well. In this video, I'm gonna tell you at least why in my mind, I prefer the classic black and rust. And for me, it definitely goes a little bit deeper than just looks alone. Now per the AKC, the black and rust colored Dobermans are the most popular and the most common dogs out there. Uh, now these dogs are created by a dominant gene that's present in their DNA code that is in the, what's called the B locus or brown locus of their DNA code. And um, it's because it's a dominant gene, it just simply means there's more of these dogs out there. And you know, it's actually really fascinating. If you're curious at all about what kind of puppies your dog can produce, there's a super simple test you can do. You just swab your dog's cheek, you send it off, and um, you can find out exactly what color of puppies and what types of puppies that your dog is capable of producing. If you're at all curious on how to do that at home, I made a video all about that. Should be popping up in the corner of your screen. It's really interesting stuff. Um, I will also have the link to that in the description below, you know, if you were uh, too slow to uh, click that link. Now, the first reason I really like the black and rust colored Dobermans simply has to do with health issues. Now, the Doberman breed in general certainly has their fair share of health conditions that can affect them, and most of these will affect all the different colors equally. But there are some conditions that have been associated with certain colors more than others. Conditions such as uh, some fur and skin problems, eyesight issues, um, al certain allergies, uh, something called color dilution alopecia, all these things have been at least somewhat associated with different colors, and the black and rust colored Dobermans are far and away the least likely uh, to suffer from many of these. So chalk one up for the black and rust colored Dobermans. Now the next advantage they have is guard work. Now arguably the black and rust colored Doberman is the best one to use for guard or protect protection duty. Now that's not to say the other colors can't succeed and do extremely well and often do do extremely well at that, but the black and rust definitely have at least a couple advantages with guard work. The first one is simply that it's the classic look for Doberman and they're the most easily recognized as a Doberman. So most people, even bad guys, who are standing in front of a Doberman and they can recognize it as a Doberman, know pretty quickly that it's not a dog they wanna mess with. You know, They usually understand that they're incredibly fast, they are strong dogs with a lot of endurance, they're fiercely loyal um, and very protective of their owners. And yeah, even the worst guys usually don't wanna mess with a dog like that. So um, it, being recognized as a Doberman quickly can prevent a lot of problems before they even happen. Uh, the other advantage when it comes to uh, guard work just has to do with just their stealth ability. You know, these black and rust colored dogs, they are hard to spot at night. Trust me, um, I've done a lot of hide and seek games with my last Doberman, especially Cooper. We used to play him all the time. Um, and you know, when he'd spot me and he'd start zeroing in on me and charging towards me, I could hear him coming, but I couldn't see him coming. I found it really hard to judge his distance from me. Every now and then I would see like a flash of maybe his brown spot a little bit or his teeth, his white, bright white teeth, but it was so hard to see him coming. All I could do is hear him coming. And to be honest with you, it was a little freaky. 
even for his owner, uh, <laughs> for this dog to be running up on me and me not being able to see him. So that's definitely an advantage as well when it comes to guard work for these dogs. Now, the next reason I personally like the black and rust colored Dobermans, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, simply has to do with just the fact that it's the classic Doberman look. And you know, Louis Doberman, who created this breed back in the 1890s, it's the original look, the original dog that he created was a black and rust colored Doberman. And you know, for someone like me, who's a total Doberman fanatic and just completely in love with the breed, it's kind of cool having a dog that really closely resembles what Louis Doberman originally made all those years ago. May not apply to everybody, but for us Doberman nuts, it's a big advantage. So what don't I like about the black and rust colored Dobermans? Are there any drawbacks whatsoever? Well, I've definitely found one big drawback, at least for me anyway, and that is they are really, really hard to film. Guys, you have no idea how much light I try to throw at my dog when I'm recording him, when I'm making these videos, or when I'm making clips of him, so that he doesn't just look like a black hole on your screen. Their coat is really dark, it's gorgeous in person, but it's really dark and it's really hard to film. And you know, as hard as I try to light up my dog enough for you guys, I very often fail miserably. So I really should reiterate that I really do love every color of Doberman out there and they certainly all have their advantages. Uh, if I was able to convince a wife, I'd probably have one dog of every color, to be honest. But for now, I'm very happy with my pup, Arlo. Oh, and hey, before you guys go, take a look in the description below. I'll have a link to every video I've done on all the different colors so you can check out all the different colors of Doberman. Also, I'll have a link to the video I did about the color genetics so you can not only easily health test your dog at home and find out any of the critical health issues your dog might be facing, uh, but you can also get a glimpse into your dog's color genetics. This is all done through DNA, just a simple swab of their cheek. It's pretty cool stuff. That video will be linked down below also. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below guys and the little bell icon that comes up next to it. Uh, I've been working really hard planning out some future videos for this channel and there's some cool stuff coming down the pipe. I think you're really going to like it and you're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you're subscribed. So thank you so much for spending some time on my channel with me today. Uh, so what do you guys think? Same time next week? Sounds good to me. I'll see you then.